I never believed in ghosts before. I thought they were just made up stories to scare children. But that all changed when I moved to the small town of Shrouded Street. It was an old town, with narrow, winding streets and decaying buildings. The people there were distant and cold, as if they were hiding something. And as I found out, they were. It was a cold and foggy night when I first set foot in Shrouded Street. The streetlights were dim, casting eerie shadows on the deserted streets. I had just rented a small apartment on the outskirts of the town, and as I walked towards it, I could feel the shivers crawling up my spine. As I settled into my new home, I couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. Every night, I would hear strange noises and whispers, but when I investigated, there was no one there. I thought it was just my imagination playing tricks on me. That was until I met Mrs. Henderson. Mrs. Henderson was an old woman who lived next door. She was the only person who seemed friendly in this town. She told me stories about the history of Shrouded Street. She spoke of a curse that haunted the town, a curse that was responsible for the strange occurrences that were happening. According to her, the curse started when the town was founded by an evil woman who practiced dark magic. She had created a powerful spell that would keep the town shrouded in darkness forever. And now, her vengeful spirit roamed Shrouded Street, seeking to punish anyone who dared to enter her territory. I laughed at her stories, dismissing them as mere superstition. But deep down, a part of me couldn't shake off the feeling that there was some truth to it. And my doubts were confirmed when I encountered the shadows in Shrouded Street. It was a particularly dark and windy night, and I was walking home from the grocery store. As I turned the corner, I saw a figure standing in the middle of the road. It was an old woman, dressed in a tattered black dress. Her face was hidden by a hood, and she held a lantern in one hand. I froze in fear as she slowly turned her head towards me, revealing a pair of glowing red eyes. My heart was pounding, and I couldn't move. Suddenly, she let out an ear-piercing scream that echoed through the empty streets. I ran as fast as I could, not looking back until I reached the safety of my apartment. From that night on, I was haunted by the shadows. They would appear in my dreams, tormenting me with their sinister whispers. And when I woke up, I would find scratches and bruises on my body. I couldn't take it anymore, and I knew I had to leave Shrouded Street. But before I could escape, I had to confront the evil that lurked in the shadows. I did some research and found out that the only way to break the curse was to destroy the source of the darkness, the lantern. And so, armed with a cross and a bottle of holy water, I set out to find the old woman. I followed the eerie cackle coming from the abandoned house on the outskirts of the town. As I entered the house, I could feel a chill in the air. The walls were covered in strange symbols, and the air was thick with an ominous presence. And there, in the corner, stood the old woman, clutching her lantern. She let out a wicked laugh as she saw me, her red eyes piercing into my soul. I didn't falter, and I held out my cross, shouting prayers and splashing holy water. She screeched in pain, but it only made her angrier. She lunged at me, but I was too quick for her. I grabbed the lantern and smashed it on the floor, breaking the curse. The room erupted in a blinding light, and the old woman's screams grew louder and louder until they faded into silence. The shadows vanished, and the air felt lighter. And just like that, the curse of Shrouded Street was broken. I left the town the next day, never looking back. But even now, as I'm telling this story, I can feel the shivers crawling up my spine. I can never forget the horrors I witnessed in Shrouded Street. And I can never shake off the feeling that I'm being watched, even in the safety of my own home. So beware, dear readers, for the shadows in Shrouded Street may be lurking in the shadows of your own town.